Hello, Sula here from MistyHealthHealth.com. Thanks for stopping by. In this episode, I'm working on a double page spread for my 6x6 mini album about a hiking trip in the Swiss Alps, and I titled this page Wander. I'm using a digital scrapbooking kit by Christine Cronin Barrow and lots of stamps and dies. So this is a 6x6 page and I usually for this kind of album I have an entire uh, background, the entire background covered with a background paper and so this one is I believe a wood grain that will go across the entire back um, cardstock there and cover up the entire cardstock. So um, it's the same uh, wood, wood grain and actually this one um, because it will the rest will be covered with a different kind of paper, so uh, I only needed uh, a part of it, and so I left the rest of it unprinted. This is a digital scrapbooking uh, kit, and so I am uh, just printing everything, and I can choose how much I print so that it's not cutting away from anything. I don't print the entire papers and then cut, use them to cut things. I um, print what I am actually using on my pages as I am using the um, Silhouette um, Studio software and um, design all my pages in that. And then it's easy for me to print them exactly in the size uh, that uh, they will go on the page. So whatever the Silhouette Studio, the sizes it gives, it actually transfers those sizes to my printers accurate, to my printer accurately. And um, so that makes the printing part very easy because I just need to print out the size exactly the way that uh, it happens to be on the printed paper, the pa paper that I print to cut apart. So here I have now added this other strip of um, kind of a bluish color uh, dots um, to the right side there as a kind of a, a strip um, top to bottom. And then um, for the background where the photos will go, I am putting this uh, floral um, paper that is a floral design and then I'm ready to add my uh, photos but first I have the strip and um, with these kinds of things um, there's two options how I can get a scalloped border I could either um, set it to print and cut but I find it's easier it goes faster for me if I just um, um, print a strip and then use one of my scalloped dies um, especially because the paper that I'm using is not like really amazing cardstock quality and so if I tried to use my silhouette to cut things it would tear up the paper more than accomplish anything and so I prefer to use with this paper to use my um, dies however in some instances I actually print on heavy kind of heavier cardstock and with that I can run it through my silhouette and um, do the print and cut and there's a video on how I do get perfect print and cuts um, here on um, on the channel so if you ever want to learn because I find that the print and cut feature that comes uh, included in the silhouette studio um, version I find it's uh, it wastes a lot of paper it wastes unnecessary printing ink and so I think um, I prefer I prefer the method that I found and on top of it it's usually if it prints and then cuts very very accurately so now I, I also created these little um, uh, paper flags there so before I actually start gluing down the photo I need to make sure that everything that goes behind the photo already is tucked down so that includes that circle there um, and because this was a picture of a mountain meadow that we came across as we were hiking. And it was beautiful, just these um, beautiful flowers. And then in uh, the background, you have these amazing high, peak, um, high peaks of the snow covered mountains. And so it's just, um, it was just a, such a beautiful um, picture that I wanted it um, in my album included. And so I'm, the, I based the color of the kit that I chose based off the, the flowers there. There's a bit of purple pink in that and so I felt that was um, a good choice for uh, this uh, to choose this um, particular kit. It's an old kit. I don't remember the name right now and um, but it might have long been retired because um, I haven't uh, worked with anything recent. Um, from Christine Cronin by Barrow. 
So here we have, um, I, I created a, a bunch of little dies um, uh, or die cut pieces. These are little trees that I wanted to add. Uh, there were uh, little um, parts of our trail that um, passed through in the lower parts of the trail. Obviously, once you get higher, the vegetation dec decreases and, um, uh, and disappears, but uh, we were still in the lower ranges of our hike, and so there were even little patches of wood that we would have to pass through. And then obviously you see there are, uh, I took a picture of the signs there, because there are lots of hiking trails and not to, in order not to get lost, you can follow the signs. And um, the beauty of it, it tells you about how much time you need to get to the next destination. So it doesn't give you the distance, but the um, approximate time. Um, so um, that, um, that um, sign pole there, I just uh, stamped and then used my watercolor uh, uh, pencils to, uh, to color them. Then I have this little uh, camera uh, that I stamped and fussy cut and then I created these little flowers uh, from my stash, my die cut stash. I, um, I die cut the flowers from white cardstock and then I um, color them with uh, watercolor, uh, different shades and um, stuff. So um, that gives them nice coloring. So that, there is a tutorial somewhere on this channel where you can find how I create uh, create these kinds of flowers, like any kind of uh, coming from dyes. I think they give pages beautiful dimension and I think you would be able to find it in the tutorial playlist. There are a bunch of tutorials here on this, channels, uh, on this channel that you can find uh, by um, going to the playlist that is called tutorials or how to's. So um, again, I'm now uh, moving on to my next cluster. So the, there it was important that some parts were underneath the photos and then some part would go on top of the photos. So um, I always have to be mindful what, uh, which goes where. And then I have these word strips. I created a whole bunch of word strips for outdoor purposes, but also this um, a digital scrapbooking kit came with some very suitable, it's an outdoors kit. And so it came with some suitable, very suitable um, word strips that I also wanted to use on my page. So I um, have used more word strips, I think, than I would um, usually use. Then this backpack also comes from an outdoorsy type of um, stamp and die set that I just um, cut it out and then um, used my watercolor again to um, then color in this, uh, this backpack. Mm. So for that, of course, if I have already something inked and then I'm using um, I'm using uh, watercolor, I have to make sure that my ink will not um, um, react to the water and start to f flow away. So to um, to get wiped off or something. So I have to pay attention to that as I work with watercolor and stamps. And um, but this black um, stamping ink. Um, I know is waterproof and so that's uh, that works just fine. So then I also have this title. It was a stamp that I then fussy cut and I'm adding this title um, to my page there and it says Wan wander because we were wandering but we were uh, not lost. <laughs> we were not uh, we were well on our trail following the signs where uh, exactly where we wanted to go. And um, here I have a little scattering of um, like tiny little um, flower bits that I also want to add there and more word strips to go and you see there is that butterfly and this butterfly it's kind of like on acrylic or something it's like a plastic uh, or acetate I guess um, so it, um, it's more plastic than everything anything else but I think it makes a nice addition to my page because that meadow was full of butterflies I'm sure all right, this is my page done. I'm leaving you with some more close-ups. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Consider subscribing and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.